and that was like, fuck, I had to play against Jadazil for that. Um, I would have rather to win then. That would have saved me a lot of, like, heartache, you know? <laughs> like, having to wait, like, five hours to fucking qualify through the last chance. But, you know, I made it in the end. That's all that matters. Let me sort the players and camps. There we go. So we're going straight Pyra. We don't even care about tears. Apparently, you know, Mithra is the good one. Q doesn't believe. He's like, I'm going to go Pyra. I'm going to get shield grabs. Down through fair. That's more damage than your Mithra combos. It's not actually. But don't tell him that. No drag down. We're just going for some juggles. It's so easy for Greninja to, like, yeah. We're going to have to swap. We have to swap as, like, a pseudo air dodge. Sometimes you have to do that. And now we're going to swap back because now we have Taichu at the ledge. Now we're going to go for some ledge traps. Oh, that was brave. Random. Rand oh, no. He's, he has to swap to Mithra here. And he has to side B. Ah, oh, okay. Brad went for an up B. He might have been out of counter. Here we go. Are we going to swap? No, we're just going for the Mithra juggle. But Brad managed to get an aggressive landing. I think we're going to see... That's not what I thought. Thought. I think Q just does what he feels works, you know. Like, I thought he would have swapped back to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes you forget. It looks like, oh, the, the pirates just go on a ledge, but then they actually go on stage and they hit you. You're like, oh, come on. I'm getting cheesed. Cool. Okay, nice spacing by Q. That's a combo. <laughs> Pyro can get some good strings on you, you know. Down tilt is a very good combo move. It's kind of like playing against Ike, you know. Similar early percent com co throw combos. Yeah, but we're swapping to Mithra off stage. Uh, Pyro's recovery much more susceptible to like losing a jump and just dying. Side B not landing. Okay, yeah, we're going to get stuck in shield. Nice. And, like, the pushing Brad into it as well. I like it. Nice spot dodge. Brad's going to have to land. Yeah, I think we might see a Pyrus. No, nah, I thought we'd see a Mithra swap. Uh, maybe he didn't have enough time to get the swap out after the directional air dodge. Uh, that's scary, Brad. Yeah, that was a punish. I thought maybe even, like, a landing down, I could have done it. Nice timing. So Pirate F tilt, very strong move. Uh, it's like playing against Sephiroth. You never really want to regularly get up because the other guy's just waiting at roll distance to F tilt you. <laughs> you never want to regularly get up a roll. But you never want to jump either because then you just get like swatted by a back air and die at 100. It's scary. Brad's just punishing every Pirate landing area right now. And he's punishing the Mithra up B2. That'll work um, if Mithra's too far away. I reckon if you're close enough, you're fine. That's why you generally want to air dodge, or you want to do pirate up B. If you, you want to, like, if you swap to pirate, like, against characters with counters like that, so Sephiroth um, is a big one. You don't really want to use Mithra up B into the counter, you want to swap to pirate and do it, because pirate is, amusingly, it's better that she doesn't hit hit high with her up B. She just goes to legend, she dodges, and dodges the counters and stuff. Anyway, go on to FD. So Brad's won game one. I like FD on the, as, in this matchup, but I also play more Mithra than Q does. I think I feel like Pyre is not great on FD. Mithra is like really good in FD though. Um, so it's an interesting pick. <laughs> Down air combo. 53. Whereas Q was getting a lot of landings punished. It feels like we're going to see more of that. Oh no, Brad's dead. He thought he could air dodge to ledge, but he just wasn't quite close enough. That was it. Bad air dodge. So they both kind of die, kind of like early to like some silly air dodges. Um, oh, you can actually. You, I'm pretty, you might have been able to kill him. There's, you, you have like some weird bonus hit stun. Actually, no, I think you need the drag down part of the upbeat to get to combo into footstool. Um. They programmed a lot of extra hits done on Mithra and Pyra's moves, like on their upbeats especially. We need to swap to Mithra here, I think. 
No, okay, we're fine. No, oh, that could have been a combo. Up smash, not at a quiet. Oh, that's it. The greediest of counters. And Q was waiting. Tech? Cool. What it would have been insane was would have been like tech into up the suicide kill. Nice landing option. Missing the footstool, but the footstool's really hard to land, <laughs> honestly. Yep. Brad was just waiting for the swap. And as soon as the C saw it, back here. And now Q's getting his landings caught. Yeah, another swap, but it's just more damage for Brad. He's catch the edge again. That's it. Oh, Brad saved him. Um, <laughs> we. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just used to the streamer we, you know. They always say we to try and involve the audience. Um, and I like, you know, we like to. What's the word? Like self-insert as as the players. Don't. Everyone does that, right? When they watch a set, they're like self field setting. Oh, this is so many air dodges. No. Oh my god, they have to catch him from behind? What the heck? Oh, he's, he's just shielding and rolling, but this is so scary for Brad. Oh my goodness, Pyra is so strong. Back down, it could have been it. Yeah, he's calling the jumps, but we're not getting him. That's it. Brad's taking it. 2 0. 